Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. I'm Jared with Hubby. Hubcap. And today we are doing a Victorian Baroque inspired uh, pack of peas. <laughs> I know that seems weird. So I'm going to scoot you in. I've already transferred. I just, the pattern, uh, the super toasties, secret toasties, they got the pattern and the reference photo. This is tiny for these guys. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it off. I don't think I Sounds need, good. need it anymore. Oh, good. Sounds good. Hey, Kathy, Spence, Sheila, Leisha, Mike, Shirley. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. If not, hopefully let us know. Alrighty, so we are going to get started with the eyes, and I know they're tiny. We're going to zoom in. Wow. So we changed the backboard, and <laughs> it actually can go a little brighter on the screen. How nice. So let me adjust that real quick for you. There we go. Wow. We actually got to go to normal. There. Alrighty. So it's a mess right now because it's all lines, but we are going to focus just on the face. That way we don't lose it. So I've got my 9M heating up on two, and I'm going to push this camera in so I can get closer. We're going to do that. Whee! Um. All righty, there we go. So, um, Lucia mm -hmm. wants to know, she wanted to sign up for the group classes. Where do I do that? Lucia. You're already a member, aren't you? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, she's not. It would give her a green name. By um, end of the video, let me see. Let me see your screen. If you look under the video, down by where my name is, and then you'll see a red subscribe, and you see a blue join. That's where that's at. You join through YouTube, and you pick whatever level uh, fits your needs. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to start with this guy's eyes. And the reason I pick these two is they remind me of us. They remind me of Jason and I. That's true. Which one is me and which one's you? I would say I'm probably the one whispering and yours is the one being quite scared. That's... <laughs> that, I, I will accept it. That is... I will accept that it. That is my expression most of the time. It is. Alrighty, so I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can get an angle. Me prior to backing away slowly. Yep. Yeah. I like these these two. Yeah. Alright, so let's get it in there. So we have some darks. There we go. There's some light where you can see the clouds, but I because the eye is so small, it would be uh, almost impossible to get that um, to get in those little clouds that are showing. Let's see here, that's actually a higher line. Up here. So we are going to get this in. It looks like I might have to fix the pattern a little bit because for the secret toasties. Yes, to make it a little more readable. So we have a light line under the eyeball. So I'm trying to get that and it goes out this way. So let's get a little Not as round as it should be. Should be rounder. There's a fly that's come to visit. These are so small compared to the photo that I'm looking at. So it looks different. I need to pay attention to that. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put this eye in so we don't lose it. Don't want to lose the eye. And it can be quite easy to do that. So let's get it in there. And then I won't lose it. I'll know where it's at. 
But yeah, the, they remind me of us. <laughs> That's why I picked them. Yeah, I can see that. Trying to not make it look outlined. I will go back and adjust later. For now. Yeah, see these are such little eyes. Now on this side it curves down because oh. we're looking what's wrong? Troy's here. Hey Timmy. And Oops. Shirley wants to know what are secret toasties? They are the Shit's a secret. Yeah, <laughs> they are the paid members who help support the channel. They have their own uh, Facebook group and they have their own icons. They have their own icons. Yep. So like if you look at Sheila and Andrea, you see pictures Spence. of Bernadette and Spence. Yep. And that is indicating that they are a secret secret member. Yep. For only the most elite may wear the <laughs> visage of Bernadette. All right. So we got both eyes in. We can't see the other eye because we got some good 80s emo <coughs> hair going down into it. So we'll move over. You know, we'll that is the kind of like what my hair looks like right now. <laughs> I need a haircut badly. Either that or else I got to grow it out again. You can get a haircut. You're good to go. I know. So I'm going to put the nose in. This is the darkest part of the nose, so I'm just trying to block that in. And then some of these other areas I could use a little bigger tip. That's why I'm not hitting those yet. Just looking for my small areas. So we'll move over to this nose. Because Spence says we wear the flaming hats. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's funny. Alrighty. Yeah, I was up till 12.30 doing this pattern, so I may need to revisit it for the toasties to make it a little bit easier for them. Actually, I, you know how you've done a few pieces that are like, like the kitten and the pumpkin and mm -hmm. the raven. I think I like this one more than any of the other ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it, it, it's really, it has a really good feeling to it it's really funny well and also it's like ridiculously elegant and fancy well I wanted an old uh, vintage feel to this because I'm gonna yeah uh, like, create uh, a uh, frame like, for it as well it's like Art Nouveau it's got the flowers and the arcs and the flourishes and but instead of like the t like uh, Mucha's work like instead of a a woman in there, and there's two fancy llamas. <laughs> um, Victor says, I love you, Mohair. I think I can pull it off. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally can. Hello, Victor. Alright. Trying to see if there's any other areas I need to get. I do, need, I do feel like I need to fix this pattern for them. There's some areas that might be harder for them to to read and like I said because they're so small this pattern would be much easier to do as a larger piece but um, since I'm redoing my studio I wanted to uh, uh, have some decorations I mean if this sells it sells and I'll sell it and just make me a new one <laughs> but uh, and I do like my new pin box a new pen holder works very very well now the toasties on saturday for their uh one of their monthly lives they got to see the pen holder box that i did but i will quickly show as my pen's heating up which is already heat i turned a box into a pen holder that spins Whee! watch me drop all of this so i'm gonna redo another box so that I can record it and make a video. I did take photos as I was doing at least some of this stuff. I'm going to take this wooden box and turn this into a pin holder as well. Maybe a little different kind because um, of course there's all kinds of pins. 
Alright, so I grabbed the 18 extra small. I'm at one and a half, but looking at it, I can go down to one. Because remember, this pen, especially on basswood, really burns at a lower setting. So I just lower it a little bit. That all says, ooh, so crafty of you. Well, I had this box to actually burn, but the boxes at uh, Michael's really aren't worth burning. They're not a good quality for burning. So I decided, I've been looking for uh, weeks for a new pen holder because I was running out of room. And then one day I was like, ha ha, I've got these boxes and I have a drill. I can do this. So I did it. Let's see here. So we have lips that are lighter on the bottom. So I'm going to tap in, dragging up because that helps give us our texture as well. We also have a little bit of hair coming over from our shocked surprise. I don't know, what 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 emotion are you feeling in this photo? Um, he didn't catch it. He yeah, didn't catch yeah. it. Hubcap is tired today. I know. Well, um, I was up before you this morning. Well, I know. I was... We were both up late last night, or early, as it were, and I have not been napping, and I have Let's been getting up earlier sure. because of Zena. In fact, it was her that woke me up today. You but, um... Alright, I need that lighter, so I'm going to go with zero. I don't know, these two llamas are like partners in crime and they're because i got the photo off of envato and there's all kinds of photos but this is the one that spoke to me the most joker says you need a few more pins to fill that box <laughs> well i have a few more pins but they're testers that didn't like pass or whatnot um the pins i have out are 26 and i intentionally laid it out so that i have 40 that way if there's any other pins that I'm testing in the future, uh, I can have room. And I don't have to redo it again. That was the point. So, it says, where can you get a good box for burning on? I got this at Michael's. You can get it on, for burn, oh, for burning. Uh, that, 100% on, because I don't burn on boxes. Um, you you might. box to burn on once. Yes, I made a box once to burn on. Ten years ago. Long, long time ago. That was a... Linda Lou Forsyth. Forsyth Hi, is here. Is that one of the dogs? Or is there something else is he? Huh? You don't hear the moving around? No. Alright, so just getting this laid in. It's windy out. It's possible there could be a branch on the roof or something. Mmm. Sound, sound like. Well, I don't hear it at all. Alright, so. Except for the fly. I hear the fly. <laughs> that fly is annoying. Uh, An annoying fly. So let's get this in here. Because right now, it feels a little off. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to redo this pattern so it's a little easier for them to read. Let's see, straight down. And right now, like I said, I'm at zero. Zero. Um, you can't get any lower than that. And this is the best wood. I can always darken up. Alright, so I do this. Need to darken up underneath where the light of the lip is. This is light right here. This gets darker. This is still going to have to go darker here. But as I balance things out, that'll happen. And I'm trying to go around the hair that's visiting from our other llama. And right now it looks so off. It's it's okay. 
It's okay. So I'm dry. I'm using the tip. I'm moving quickly, and it's kind of a C, a flat C, and that's just so I can get my texture without getting a really harsh line. And since the part of the mouth is curving this way, it's easier if I curve my pen as well. All this will be darkened up. This is actually the piece I started the snake on that I sanded back. Alright, so let's get our angles right. So the fur is coming up onto the chin. So flip your board. And curve it up. This is so that you get the direction correct. With fur and for hair, you really want your direction to read right. Because if it feels a little off, it'll throw your whole piece off. Let's see here, this is lighter. And I move very quickly, even with this pen, at such a low heat. Let's see here. And this, they have like a cheek gal thing that's in a circle that kind of hard to see which way in, in a small piece the hair is going. So we'll just do that. And then tap, tap, tap. And that's just so I don't get a solid line. I don't want a solid line with any of this. So let's put a little bit more of the face in. So we got dark eyeliner underneath. For our emo emo pa uh, alpacas, I want to call them llamas, but they're not llamas. Well, <laughs> I mean, they're like llamas. They're like llamas. They're they're in the llama family. They they are sing the "We Are Family" song, but they're not. Actually, the same animal. I got all my llamas with me. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be a cool song? Wouldn't that be a cool song? How can I go about getting that? I got some eyeshadow in here. One thing I didn't do, I forgot to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's switch over to my sepia so that I can see how different tones are laying out. I mean, after a while it gets easier to read, but, and I recommend if you're new to keep doing it. I actually just forgot. I'd have it, but I forgot. So I'm just putting in my darks. So I know where everything else goes. We got a circle here. Alright, so this is our eyeball. And then we have our eyeline circle. Goes up this way. Alrighty. And then it goes dark. This comes out. And go up. A little darker down here. Let's get it. Right now I'm using more of the tip and the edge. And I'm dragging down. And right now I'm not getting a whole lot of different. Yeah, I should have switched over my photo to I have my phone in here. That's alright. And going lighter than what I know the finish final piece will be. It gives me uh, room to adjust, so Cindy Van Nostrum is here. Hey, Cindy. Working, but headphones on, sneaking a peek anyway. I will be quiet. Um, Kathy Whitney is here, too. Hey, Kathy. She says they look like llamas to me. <laughs> I agree, Kathy. I don't want to get yelled at for calling them the wrong thing. Uh, you know, Can you look up what's the difference between a llama and, a, and an alpaca? Please. Because now, at this point, we got to know. When we say we, I know that means you. No, I bet you they're curious too. I'm trying to move quickly. 
Again, I'm going with the direction of the fur. <coughs> Let's get that in there, some of our little main ones so that we can erase. Well, there are differences. Other than the shape of their face. Yeah, their size, their face. Um, How about attitude? The key difference is their hair. Yeah. Hang on, I'm looking. Well, see, it was Burl and uh, Karen from our secret live group, or sorry, live on Saturday that mentioned llama or alpaca. Well, it says that, that both species, they're different species, but they're so close that they can't actually um, they breed. Can't actually interbreed. So they're cousins. They're cousins. Um, they're part of the camel family. Yeah. Are they both uh, spitting cousins or just one's a spitting cousin? Well, I don't know. It doesn't say. Oh. Well, shoot. It's How okay. am I supposed to learn if nobody tells me? Hmm? Well, llamas are apparently more aggressive. Llamas are what are used in general guard to, guard to guard animals. That's yep. what they say. And alpacas are a little bit more docile. So if you want, if you're going into a bar fight, you want you, a llama. You want a llama with you, not, not an alpaca. If you're going to meditate, you want an alpaca. Yeah, if you. Want <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we learned something. What's funny is they probably all know. Llamas don't take no crap. Victor, <laughs> Victor says I don't care. <laughs> Now I'm wondering if these are llamas or if these are alpaca. Because when I searched on an Envato, I put alpaca. But the shape of their face is that... Do they have a picture of a llama? So I can... I'm already gone from that. <sighs> oh, gosh. Um, llamas have more banana-shaped faces, so this is probably is an alpaca. These are. Oh, okay. Alpacas. Now there is a... Um, I'm trying to shape the face right now and get some... There is a um, personal <laughs> connection, huh? To the llamas. To the llamas. Oh, hmm? to the llamas. oh yeah. <laughs> we have a personal connection. Uh, we got that llama, and then I just got you another llama for Valentine's Yeah, Day. big booty. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Llamas, penguins, and ravens. That one's named Miguel. Miguel, yes. That is Miguel. He hasn't come to visit in a while. Well, he's guarding the studio. He's your guard animal. He's my guard animal? Yes, I have a guard animal right there. <laughs> slowly we're getting a face. Slowly. And then... I am going to have to actually switch over to the 18S because it requires more heat so I get a lighter burn. Oh, Cindy mm -hmm. says we call alpacas llamas in pajamas because they have <laughs> full hairy legs. Where, they do. Whereas llamas do not. Aha, uh -huh. so okay. That's a, that's a, Thank you. Yeah. Llamas in pajamas. I will, I will never, I will never forget that. that. <laughs> I will never forget that. Llamas in pajamas. But now I want a llama song that you started. Hmm? You started singing. I want a llama song. Well, there are so many songs that you could turn into llama songs. So. Alright, I'm going to switch over to the 18S so that I can get a lighter burn. Yeah, I definitely like my box. I can spin it. And get to any pen without having to reach over too far. What I didn't do was equate for the pens that had two foam pieces on them because they stick up higher. So I had to kind of rearrange them differently. But I don't, not all of my pens have two foam. I've got one, two, three, five. I do. Alrighty, so this is the 18S. And this one's also easier to do the fur. 
<coughs> because the 18 extra small is thicker. It's a 17 gauge wire. It do, it gives you kind of the thicker hairs, kind of like the blockier hairs. Whereas I can get both blocky and detailed with the 18S, which is what I'm on one. So we got at the darker area. See, so we have all this hair, and where all these lines are for the pattern. These are all the dark lines of the fur that's shaping the fur. That's what all the dark lines are in the pattern. It is not anything more than shaping. We're getting, let me come back over here. Okay. So this, I can use just the tip going at the angle of the fur and I can get some of that texture that we see in fur without having to fully go angled. I'm, it's always so hard to explain. It's the tip of my pen, <laughs> tip of my pen, angled just slightly this way and moving quickly. That's how I'm getting the texture. Earl says, have you ever seen a llama wearing his pajamas down by the bay? <laughs> That's a song. Is it? Yeah, I can't think of this song, though. Is it co it's not copyright free, though, is it? I'm sure it's not. So we can't listen to it right now. No, we would have to do, like, 1920s and 30s songs if we want to do copyright free. So just quickly moving on. I need to come back to the face because that's where we're focusing. So we got some lip that comes up. Mm. Spence and Kathy says it's looking good. And it just... Thank you for all the thumbs up. That means oh, thank a lot you. to us. Did our friend show up? Yes, they did. Oh, you didn't tell me so I could say hi to them. Well, I just saw it. Uh, how long were they there? Don't know. Yeah, well, that was. Could have stuck around for me to say hi. Could have. They don't know what they're missing. No, they Or maybe they're here. Maybe they're just like... Maybe they're one of those pe people that's like, I'm going to watch, but I won't, watch. But I won't like it. Maybe. So just using the tip. Again, I'm going to go back and darken this all up. This is just laying in so that I can erase everything. So Joker says he took his great nephews to a petting zoo with llamas and alpacas. But he didn't look at him much because he was recovering from an ostrich eating his hat. <laughs> so we have llamas here that we can go visit um, at the, um, <coughs> Where? I forget what it's called. The deer farm? Yeah, the deer farm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep, so, the deer farm. Yep, so there's llamas. I don't know if there are any apacas there, but they got llamas there. They got summer. llamas. Yeah, because they got signs of be careful, they spit. Yep. Uh, and they have a camel, too. Yep, Lucy the camel. And an elk. Without her. Beryl says you gotta love Rafi. I guess Rafi is the person who sings the song. I'm gonna have to go look. I, I, you're gonna have to show it to me. Yeah. Sheila says the thumbs down was there 15 minutes before the live started. Oh goodness, they didn't even give us a chance. Wow, overachiever. Yeah. Well, you know what? Right. What's funny is they probably do watch and they probably do learn. They just don't like me. <laughs> so the funny thing about YouTube, right, is it like thumbs down. You they think, don't hurt. You think that it would be subtractive, but it's not. So mm -hmm. it's YouTube math. It's like nine negative one equals ten. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It don't hurt. I'm just curious who it is because one of these days it'd be nice to hear why. But they're not hurting me, so... I'm not worried about it. Excuse me. All right. Just trying to get it in. Right. And then next week, uh, we will focus on this busy hair down here. And it is busy. Um, but very doable. Just got to hang in there. Up. 
Let me get this in shadow. Yeah. Things keep changing directions, especially on the face. That's where you're going to see it the most in general. The hair is going to be short. The fur is going to be shorter, and it's going to keep changing directions. But those directions are what help shape. Or it's not shaping. It's falling over the different muscles, and that's why it looks like that. If you have a hard time visualizing, if you have a short-haired animal, or even a long one, like, you know, a guinea pig, just pay attention to their fur. You'll see all the different directions. And that's all the muscle and bone. It's the muscle laying on the bone, and then the skin laying on the muscle that's giving us all this different direction. I can actually go up to one and a half. Yeah, base a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Now I don't have a background for them because I figure there's a lot going on. They didn't need a background. Are you awake? Yes, I am. You sure? Yes, I am. Am I pulling you asleep? Uh, no. Yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, so, Spence says, imagine living your life in such a sad way. Yeah. Val says, we need to call the thumbs down person Double D, or either Debbie or Donald Downer. <laughs> um, Double D. Uh, Alicia, Le uh, am I pronouncing your name right? Is it Alicia or is Leisha. it Alicia? Um, yeah, I think she said Alicia. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I remember it as Alicia, but then take out the gotcha. E or the A. So she said it's probably some competition. It could be. Yeah, could be. And Burl wants to know how deep is your pen holder box? That is. Can I have my tape measure? Your tape measure. It's probably in this drawer. Do you want the cloth one or the other cloth one? Cloth one. No. Yep. You put it there. Is that where you put it? Yeah. <sighs> I put it back. From the top, or from the very bottom, where the bottom hits, to the top, three inches. Exactly. If you're not, I mean, fully, fully, since we're inside, it's three and an eighth. And the holes are three eighths of an inch because that's what the um, what the optima is. In fact, can you grab that circle thingy? No, nope, no, nope, other side, other side, other side. I moved it over there. Green circle thingy. This is what helped me to the most in mapping out the pen. I took a. Large and small circles, T831. This is an old one. I don't, I'm sure they have it. And what I did was I sat here trying to figure out how thick the pin was. And it comes out to 3 eighths, but when you do the circle, it needs to be three, uh, 13, 30 seconds. And then with the foam, it's just shy of 3 quarters. Let's see here. I actually... 11 sixteenths is what it was. And so I had to take into consideration the 11 sixteenths in between. Um, I'll have to actually probably make a pattern for it because it's a lot easier to show than it is to explain. <laughs> yep. And then I still have more decorating to do. I'm actually pouring some resin to make some decorations for it. Um, and the paint is spray paint. And I use black, silver, and uh, champagne mist. Yeah. And I had to re, re um, spray paint the uh, brass and the hinges. So I will have to write a blog on that and do a video. There's a few things I would do differently. 
to make it easier and but now I know so I can tell you guys do we got any questions mm, no are there well, any Bur Burl has a question she says so I want the holes seven sixteenths you want the holes uh, for the pin bodies because it was I I did I used a drill bit of three eighths and it was just shy of being big enough because when you use these they're always smaller uh, the holes need to be 13 30 second um, when you draw when you do your little woo, and that'll make them big enough I actually because I used a I had to build up the size of the drill bits but my go. Kathy um, <laughs> over there is a grinding bit by the knife in front of you, to the right, to the right, up, up, Dremel, to the left, to the left, ah, if you t yeah, yeah. I took a 3 8 bit and it wasn't big enough so I had to use my Dremel and uh, make sure I went straight down, that looks bad, straight down uh, to grind it big enough and go just a little bit and it was, and that worked, that was that, alrighty. Uh, so Mike was asking if anybody knew if there was pyrography forums of people building their own stations. Not that I know of. My station is a counter that I got from Home Depot under the, uh, it's back in the wood section, but then my holders, my shelving, my cabinets are from the garage section. Um, and then I have shelving behind my easel that I have stuff on and that's, that's my station. I'm, I Once I get the studio completely redone, um, I will do another video. It's been a long time. Burning in fractions. Yes, Timmy. Banner day. Yeah, yeah. I was measuring four or five times before cutting because I knew I'd screw it screwed up. Shirley wants to know if you give us a close up of the box. Let's back it out. Do that. I'm gonna pop this off just because it's taking up room. <coughs> it's eight by six. So, and it still opens. Um, I do the inside of the box differently. I would use the foam contact paper at the bottom, and that would keep. Right now I have glue dots that I had to make all the dots to fit specifically at the bottom, but I'm going to be decorating the front of this. So it is eight. Okay, I'm guessing you wanted to see the holes. There we go. I think this is an eight by five and a half box. Five It's eight and a quarter by five by three inches deep. And this is the one I'm going to redo. I'm actually going to make it with so that you can uh, put little tips, that the interchangeable tips, <coughs> in different size pens. The hardest one it would be would be the burn master. Because like the razor tip, it is, you'll have to... Yeah, nine sixteenths is what that would be. And the foam is three quarter. So to do razor tip, you have to do a bigger hole because it's got a bigger bottom. Alrighty, Colwood, you do the same for the pins, but I want to do a couple of different designs. So. What eagle do? Um, my easel is currently right around 75, 80 degrees right now. It's not straight up. I have it back a little bit. Because um, straight up is. Let's see, 90 degrees is that. So that's how much of an angle I have on it. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. So if that is it, 
next Tuesday we will work on the fur. I should I'll have their faces in. Um, unless you want me to skip the fur and go to the flowers. Um, I will let you guys decide that one. You got anything else? No. No. Tired. Sorry guys. You've been on your phone. <gasps> You're posting on Instagram for your book. What if I am? That's what you're I'm doing. I'm multitasking. He's back here being I'm all quiet. Tired. You're back there I'm working tired. on your book. You're working on your book, on your game. Lies. No, I see the post. Okay, not lies. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's lies? I'm paying attention to chat. Mm -hmm. You handing you stuff. Mm -hmm. How did you get this? Hmm? You had to stop because I was looking at you. You got caught. There's okay, Andre is saying far. For, I don't know. I don't want to do So Andre yeah, is saying. Because I got to do it. I got to do everything. So we'll do for I. <laughs> Timmy, it's over too soon. Well, we got something on, didn't we? Yeah. yeah what, what? Oh, my camera fell. That's what happened. What's going on? My camera fell. Oh. That's all. Uh, Val says I got to call and miss if she answered my question. What was Which question? one is it? What angle? About 75, 80 degrees is my angle. About, I'm guessing. Um, I don't have, my, yeah. I don't have a way to check my angle right now. So I'll put it away and have it. Trying to describe things to you to find in my studio <laughs> is a weird... Uh, instead of where Waldo, where's Waldo? It's a where's Jason of things. It's like a leadership training challenge. It's like you describe to your, describe to your work associates an object that you want, <laughs> only by using the following words. <laughs> so it's like we square with lines on it, and it is in a drawer. In a drawer, I believe. Oh, well, he found it. Oh, my God. What so that's what I have to do? What just happened? That's what I have to do. Maybe. You're kidding me. No. Remember, I was in the Army. We respond to basic, <laughs> to basic input. <laughs> you can't even play charades with me. Well, now you know. Now you know just to go more basic. No doubt. Let me see if I can figure out what this angle is. No. Can't do it with this. You could like you, you could be all descriptive or you could be like triangle floats and I'd be like, no, sailboat. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it right this second. I'll have to check. It's about 75 degrees. I can't believe you did that. I can't either. <laughs> okay, I think we need to end because That's just how this is things are gonna start happening. Things now. are getting crazy. Yeah. So no, we'll do this next week. Ah, say it with me. You know what to say. With a, you know it. Come on, say it with me. Yep, I do. <laughs> You're awesome. Alpacas are llamas with pajamas. <laughs> you could do this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Happy burning. Yeah, maybe it is 25, 30 degrees. I don't know my degrees. <laughs> we'll talk about right, it next week. <laughs> I don't know.